My name is Eric James McDermott, and I'm one of the co-founders of Prometheus Science. And this is a map of the world, only one where area is based on population. You'll notice giant areas like South America, India, Africa, and China. But if I were to show you a different map, one based on scientific budget, we would see a vastly different world. Places like Africa and India and parts of South America have shrunk. Some have nearly disappeared. There is a clear imbalance here, but this problem is magnified when these budgets have to be used to actually purchase the scientific equipment. And this is because the classical model of scientific equipment production results in equipment with high price tags. You see, the model goes like this: a company wants to make a product. So a team of engineers work behind closed doors for years to develop a prototype. Once they have one, the company then has to file for a patent, costing even more time and more money. Years later, when there is actually a product to sell, well, they need to get this money back. But because of all the resources they spent on it and the patent they have, they can ask for whatever price they want, and so they do. And it is because of this asking price. That over half of the world goes without the essential equipment for their scientific and medical needs, and this is where we come in. At Prometheus Science, we want to drastically lower our costs, enabling us to provide that scientific equipment for a fraction of the price. But how? Well, the trick is quite easy. We offer our products for a low price. We disrupt the market, and we do some good in the world. I can see I convinced most of you already. But for the skeptics out there, I'll try to explain a bit more. We use the most important resource there is, people, and we offer a fair deal in return. Our process starts by identifying a useful but expensive piece of scientific equipment. We then search the the open source community for alternative and innovative ideas. And once we find one we like, we prototype a device. Now, once we ensure this device has basic usability, we sell it to targeted customers. People who need the device, but also have the technical capability to adapt it to their own questions. In return, we offer an online platform where people can interact, they can share their experiences, and they can work towards solutions、uh, about some of the problems they found with that device. As a result, our devices rapidly evolve. People continue to refine them and improve them, and the best part is, all of these changes align directly with the customer's needs and wants. And that is because the customer themselves played a role in its development. Now, once we consider this development mature, we take the design that has the highest following and the most potential, and we put it through the final stages: certification, streamlining production, and selling and shipping these devices back to the community. This process leverages on collective intelligence. Many people from all over the world converging on a single project. And the innovation that can be found this way is truly extraordinary. So, as you can see, we are and we are not just a scientific hardware company. Our online platform and the community of people around us are just as important as the products that we want to sell. Indeed, through this production process, the customers become our community—a community which is willing to work with us to develop future devices. And that is a competitive edge that our competition cannot create overnight. And while it might be true working with open source licenses exposes us to the risk of being copied, it wouldn't be so easy. You see, we are mainly a B to B business. We sell to schools, universities, labs, and hospitals. And to do that, we need to certify our devices. And to do that, we need to follow a strict set of regulations and standards. So, for any potential copycat out, out there, they would have to go through the same time-consuming and expensive process of obtaining certifications before they even have the chance to sell to our target markets. And while they're going through all the legwork trying to do that, we're going to continue to develop our brand, our products, and our community. Open source simply works, but you don't have to believe me. You can ask companies like these. And this isn't just some dream we have. We've already started working on this. Our first product is the FlyPi. It's a 3D printed biology lab capable of scientific grade techniques. All of the images you can see on the screen were taken with the FlyPi. We've published this design, and it received 23,000 views. 
And in this paper, we show that the FlyPi stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with that research-grade equipment that costs 50 times more. And people have already started working with the FlyPi. It can be found all over the world. And we have a list of scientists and educators from 19 different countries who are ready to buy the FlyPi. And we're selling it at a 54% profit margin. And thanks to grants from the Volkswagen Stiftung, we've been able to put on workshops in Ethiopia, Nigeria, South, uh, South Africa. Last week we were in Paris. Next month we'll go to Warsaw. We're pushing forward with this movement to bring affordable technology to the world, open for use for everyone, everywhere. And this is us. Andre Maichagas has published several peer-reviewed papers on open source scientific hardware. And he is an editor for the Plush Channel, which promotes the use of open source scientific tools. Valerio Rocco has a PhD in neuroscience, and he's worked with scientific companies to develop experimental medical equipment. And I've worked in both the education and the research sector, conducting scientific studies across the USA, the UK, Europe, and India. Together, we're a strong team, but we're also aware there's a lot more to learn. For now, we're looking for connections. Connections to universities, labs, and schools. Connections to developing countries. Connections with people who can help us streamline our certification process. So, if this sounds like you, or you simply support our vision and want to come talk to us, please do so. Our products are open, and so are we. Thank you. <laughs>